Why eruptions in a volcanic system happen at different places? I try to find an answer for this by looking at the maps and the data and analyze it. We had this uh, Schwarzenegger volcanic system, three different places we had eruptions of this. And before the eruption starts, actually, we had this pattern every six hours, repeating of the uh, you know, tectonic earthquakes, practically breaking the ground, and then magmatic uh, earthquakes, the purple line, moving with that. And just after this, we had the eruption. The, this was as if preparing the ground for that moment that this shooting up of the tectonic and the magmatic uh, earthquakes, blue and purple lines, create this, the moment of the eruption in the Hagofel Grindovic uh, eruption of January 2024. As you can see, just pressure was building up under it and it gets suddenly released in this form. Now we have a similar situation and we may have another eruption. We are seeing the uh, breaking of the ground, magmatic uh, uh, no movement, magma movement. Again, per blue line shows the breaking of the ground and the magma with that again uh, relieved uh, pressure on it, moving it means. We have a wave of the earthquakes coming through the rock. Imagine that it breaks the ground. The solidified lava from the previous eruption is hampering its movement. So the breakage opens up the way. Magma can melt that part and move. Then again, another part of it above it has to break the ground. Magma moves, break the ground. Magma moves and gradually builds up on that. And we will have the moment of eruption to the surface after repeating this. We have a good example of it in the Trudos Mountains, Ophiolite of the Cyprus. You can see a dike breaking to the ground and uh, a fault moving it. Magma in the form of pillula was forming toward the center of the image. You can see that. Then another uh, dike breaking the ground solidified lava from that eruption is hampering it. So it has to break it by an earthquake. Earthquake opens it and the magma melts it. We have another example again from the Trudus Mountains of the uh, Ophiolite of the Cyprus. Again, one seal, another dike, another seal, all the time seal movement, magma movement. This is magma moving when it was liquid. Then solidifies. The next batch has to break through that, the next eruption. That's the reason we have a dike and we have a fissure. There are different things. So every time magma has to break through the old solidified lava and open up its way. Tectonic earthquakes do that for it, the blue lines on those ch charts diagrams. And then swelling up of the ground brings magma upright and then seal which is horizontal layer, breaks the ground to these earthquakes every six hours. Tide may be affecting that. And then when it is, uh, have advanced enough near the surface to a dike, it can rise to the ground. It has to break through all those previously solidified lava, melt it up, and then reach the surface, break to the surface and erupt. This is the January 24. MBL cameras, you can see that. Again, live camera showed us in real time. This is what I think is happening. A synthesis of what happened in the January 24 is presented to you here in this video. And by looking at this uh, earthquake tremors chart, we can actually see melting, breaking, melting, breaking until the magma makes its way to the surface. This may continue for several days, up to two weeks even. In the previous case, it was more than 10 days. I like to wait and see if, if this happens again.